welcome to Jessica Castle. For today's video, we are going to be styling my outfits based on my new emo. So for today's episode, if you can't tell by the title, we are gonna be styling our outfit based on Mickey. So basically how this works is I'm gonna come up with three outfits and I'm going to basically match Mickey in any way possible, whether that be a outfit that kind of goes with Mickey or that is Mickey, if that makes sense, like kind of like a Mickey bound. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. I thought this would be a fun series on this channel because new emos are so fun. They're basically posable plushes and you can take pictures with them, you can match with them, you can style them. So I thought this would be perfect because they're so cute. So we have Mickey here. Let me see if I can rest him. <laughs> kind of works. <sighs> yeah, don't forget to like this video if you really truly enjoy it and subscribe for some more Disney content. Basically, what we also want to do is we want to be able to see Mickey. So he's not going to just be like hidden in a bag. We're going to show him and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that with your bag. The first outfit we're going to be going for is just a classic Mickey shirt with some leather just because I have the classic leather Mickey here. So we have this shirt here, which I love. Very cute. And then perfect for the parks too. And then we have these ears. These are the classic Mickey ears. I believe they came out a while ago, but you can still find them on Shop Disney. I'm pretty sure. And in the park. I mean, I would assume so because when do you ever get classic Mickey ears? I mean, like the ones on Amazon and Etsy are great, but there's just something about Shop Disney, the authentic Disney ears that just hits different. So we have that. And then to go with the leather, we have these leather pants. So that is going to be the first fit. So let me try this on and then I'll show you how we can style our new emo. Here is the first outfit. It's so cute. So this is obviously a classic Mickey outfit going on here. We're going to use this bag to style Mickey so you guys can see Mickey. So all you'll need is a hair tie, preferably one without a bow like this, but you know, any, any will do. And then you're going to put it over the arm and then go behind the strap and then go to the other arm and there you go isn't this so cute wait wait let me take off this isn't this so cute i love it I think it's really simple, but it's definitely great for the parks because especially if you have leather pants, like I know they're black, but the ones that I'm wearing are loose. So it's actually really comfortable. I'm gonna have to take some pictures in this fit because it is stunning. And then just Mickey hanging out here. Wait, that's actually a vibe. I love it. The next outfit, we are gonna be styling these ears here. They're either from Etsy or AliExpress. I'm not too sure. They are gorgeous, you guys. I got this for Christmas. Aren't they so fun? Literally, and they're Harry Potter. So if you're like into Harry Potter and Disney, this is a cute look. This one is more fancy but we're going for an actual Mickey bound. Since I don't have red shorts, we're gonna have to reverse it as if he has black shorts and he's a red mouse. Or maybe like, I don't know, you'll see. You'll see what I mean. Let's look at the vision here. We have this red tank top, which I think is absolutely stunning. Definitely gives me Mickey vibes. And then if it gets cold, you can put this nice, blazer on you'll see how good it looks once i put it on and then to tie it together since i don't have shorts we have a skort and they kind of look like shorts ignore the fact that they're so wrinkled that it looks better on but and then we're going to use this crossbody to basically tie everything together and you can add whatever bag you want. I personally would choose a black bag just because I feel like it matches better. But 
it's totally up to you. You could do a red bag. And then obviously we're gonna use those ears and the Mickey Nuimos. Here is the fit. I actually really like it. I don't know if you could tell that I'm wearing a skirt, but I really like this. This is like a very businessy, fancy kind of fit. And then you just have Mickey hanging here. Honestly, I could put it higher. There we go. That's the fit. What do we think? I think this is absolutely stunning. And I love the ears with this. I think it like ties it together. So this is a nice outfit. I really like it. I also like that it's not like, you could wear this out. Like it's not like in your face Disney, obviously without the ears, but yeah, it's like very subtle and it's just a vibe. I love this. Wait, I have to wear this when I go to the parks. I have to, I have to. And this is also perfect for like the parks because it gets hot in Florida and like the squirt is really comfortable and you don't have to wear the blazer, but you can if you want, like you could just wear the tank top. And then when it gets chilly, you have the blazer or like a black jacket or whatever it is. Something like this, fire, fire. And the last outfit we have, we are going to be styling this lounge fly and these ears. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to put your new emos on your lounge fly because I think that you can definitely carry your new emos multiple different ways with your lounge fly and i think they just go well together so we have that because this is a really in your face disney i think we need to go with a really calm outfit so we have this top here this light blue top very pretty and just classic white sweatpants so let me go try this on and that will be it for today's video. Here is the last fit. So I have my long fly and I'm gonna show you how to add your new emos to your backpack straw. So it's the same thing, literally. If you want, you can take your bag off and do this, but I'm just gonna keep it on because I'm too lazy to do that. So again, you put it through your Mickey's arm and you go around the strap and then you go around the arm, the other arm, adjust it if you will. And then there you go. Cutie patootie. Love this outfit. It's very simple, but it's great for the park because it's very loungewear-esque, but I actually really like it. And because it's white and light blue, it's not gonna absorb all the heat, so and it matches the bag. That's the whole reason why I did this white and blue outfit because we were gonna have a lot of reds going on. So that is everything. So you outro. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments below which outfit was your favorite and also which new emos you want me to style next. I have mini, Daisy, Stitch, and Rapunzel. Maybe I'll have more in the future so we can continue this series. Yeah, so let me know which one you want me to style next. I'd be happy to do all of them, but I wanna know which one are you most interested in seeing? I feel like Stitch is gonna be the hardest. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.